Hey, this is Buck Raw G back at you. So I was talking to a buddy of mine that plays, uh, actually plays up in Macau. Uh, there's a huge casino called Wynn Casino. As you guys all know, he owns casinos in Vegas as well. Anyway, he told me that they don't cheat at Buck Raw, per se, but they have a running count all the time. There's a computer in the background keeping track of what the count is. Uh, you can look this up. If there's fours and sevens or sixes, it will give player or banker. There, there's certain cards that are, if they're left in the deck, it gives one side an advantage over the other side. So, how do you take advantage of this? Well, Nicky Mays learned how to do that. So, if he was betting, like, say, toward the end of the deck, he started betting a lot of player. No one really bothered him. No one hassled him. No one, you know, just left him alone. But if he switched to banker, they would try to interrupt his play, uh, give him free drinks. Um, so he knew right then and there, okay, all right, so banker is what I should be playing at this time. So if you're at a Baccarat table and you notice that toward the end of the shoe, uh, if people are paying more player or wherever more money's at and they start trying to stop the flow of the game via offering people drinks, stuff like that, you pretty much know where the count's at. And that's where you want to play at. You want to play the side that they're trying to distract you on. So that's kind of interesting little uh, tidbit of information. Bakraji out.